The abundance of outdoor opportunities in our area attracted an up and coming camping gear company to relocate to Chattanooga. And Kayla Strayer shows us the man behind the Sierra Madre and the national show that opened more doors for the company and its mission. From remote mountains and beaches, even ice climbing, Richard Rett's passion is outdoor adventure. It's no surprise he was very happy to be a part of a remote medical mission trip to Honduras back in 2009. But it was while camping there he had a problem. While I was there, I was sleeping in a hammock. It was a competitor's hammock, and it was just very unsatisfactory for me. And a much bigger problem he soon wanted to solve, remote communities without easy access to clean water. There are people in the world that spend eight hours a day collecting water. A mechanical engineer at the time, Richard set out on a mission to make a comfortable waterproof hammock <laughs> while also building water wells in Central America. After a few months of research, design, and yes, even sewing. I had an old steel 1950 sewing machine and I was just figuring it out. He came up with his now patented line of hammocks and waterproof shelters paired together. We allow the protection of a tent with the comfort of a hammock. At 30 years old, he officially started Sierra Madre, named for the mountain range that extends from Arizona to Honduras. Being able to symbolize the adventure that that mountain range kind of brings to people while there's such a difference in the cultures. The first prototype was set up in this living room and tested back in Honduras where the idea began. Now the gear is manufactured around the world, but it is still personally tested by Richard and his wife Julie. The design though has come naturally. It's kind of my thing. I, I really excel in figuring out what people need and how to make that. After a couple of years of being on the market, the Rets got a big break. We were contacted by Shark Tank and they were just super gracious and excited about our company. Richard Branson got on board, giving them exactly what they asked for and helping build more than just their business. <laughs> His distributions that he's going to draw off of that investment will be going towards drilling clean water wells. The couple moved to Chattanooga from Mississippi last year, setting up headquarters downtown at the incubator. They picked this area for all of the outdoor adventures offered close by. In the center of the outdoors for the southeast, we feel like there's so many things you can access from Chattanooga. They don't have a retail store, but you can order all of their products on their website. Reporting for Made in Our Hometown, Kayla Strayer, News Channel 9. Very cool mm -hmm. stuff there. Sierra Madre is having a family-friendly event at Fall Creek Fall State Park this weekend. And if you are interested in learning more, just go to the features section of our website, which is newschannel9.com. Experts say small towns are some of the